I mean, what a dangerous place to live. 350 murders in 22 years. Yes, that's... that's um, yeah. Well, Neil actually <laughs> often does a thing where he, he explains the sort of statistics of that spread over 20 years and that actually, that as a figure, overall isn't that high. <laughs> it's not that bad. He still wouldn't want to live He's there, He's done too though. much research, I think, into... <laughs> he still wouldn't want to live there. I love the ingenious ways that people are murdered. The best mm. one for me was Martin McCutcheon with a big giant cheese. I'd like to think that in the writing room they start with a murder and yeah. think, right, let's kill someone with this and then try and build a story around how that could come to pass. We, I mean, it's... we're so lucky with our guest stars. Oh, you get great guest stars. You were very, very happy to see Kelly Brook, weren't you? Was I? You'd have, you, you'd have a crush on her when you were a child. But hold on a minute. <laughs> I don't know if this is true. I mean, Kelly Brook was obviously has been a big character for... Um, <laughs> <laughs> for yeah, for she's many kind of us. looming there, looking she is amazing. fabulous. She is amazing. <laughs> and she, she was amazing as well, and really sweet and brilliant and was happy to be there. And it's sort of, that's what we get on Midsummer. We get this amazing sort of kaleidoscope of, mm. you know, not always actors even as well. We get a lot of stand-up comedians, we've got singers, we've got... You know, I think Steve Redgrave did an episode years ago, you know, as himself. You so did, I remember that. You, you have, you know, people that are models, you have actors, and you have great award-winning actors. Yeah. You know, we've got Jason Watkins in an episode, but then also we have Bill Bailey coming up, you know, who obviously is an actor, but really well-known for being a comedian. So we get this amazing... Yeah, as I say, kaleidoscope. I know, that's people. when you know that you have got a massive... Obviously, Midsummer Murders is a huge success. People are yeah. clamouring to yeah. get on, even just to sort of, you know, wave I a know, little bit. They people, really want to be part of it. They do, they do. Everyone sort of wants to do their, their Midsummer Murders. Sure. And the amount of times that I meet actors, young or old or any, you know, and I say, have you ever done one? Oh, yeah, I was in Series 14. Or, <laughs> and then, obviously, some come back and do three or four. We had Simon right. Callow last year, and I think... I think he'd done a few at least, you know. And if I think if you spread them out enough, you can, yeah, you can get away. It's got to be on your CV. You can get away with it. You're not the new boy anymore. You're not. You're really, really established as part of the cast. It's kind of like doing a movie, isn't it? Every episode is like a movie. Yeah, we're really lucky with that because um, a lot of people who do long-running TV shows obviously have the same cast around them for, you know, seven months. Sure. Me, you know, me and Neil spend a huge amount of time together, but every four weeks, our entire cast, set, storyline changes. So. Yeah. We don't get bored of people, we can't, no. any of that. So any time that you are getting a little, you know, used to the people that are around you, you know that they're going to be leaving in a few days and then the following week you've got another read-through and you meet a whole new cast and... Recharges the There's batteries. that exciting day of, yeah, like, who have we got bet. in this episode? So we had the one last week, we've got this one coming up on Sunday. Yes. And then a little bit of a gap and then we'll have some more. There's yeah. more, there's a whole There's a whole series, there's Good. six episodes, so there's four more after this weekend um, that'll be spread probably through the year. Yeah, it's kind of like a treat, isn't it? It's like a little treat. So. It is a treat. Yeah, it really good. is. Like I said to you, it is like, watching, is like watching a film. By the way, love the hair. Thank you. Really like that. Yeah, I cut it all off. I think it's really good. Thank you. Are you going to be like that in the next series? Or, you, or what are you thinking? I, future Jamie Winters will have, will have short hair, yeah. Is it just easier to keep? It's, yeah, and it's for sort of, you know, aerodynamic purposes when I'm chasing bad guys. <laughs> ah! It's all part of the plan. Of course! And that makes yeah. perfect sense. And I have to say congratulations on you because I know you got married. Yes, I got married. Which is fantastic. So Thank you very much. I hope you had a lovely, fantastic day. Weren't you filming a wedding and then you got married? That would well, be quite good. Yeah, we had our wedding and then we came back to then film an episode all set at a wedding. Right. That was being filmed at a place that I went to my cousin's wedding. So it was a strange sort of <laughs> collection of things, you know, and also I came back and they were filming wedding scenes and you know I was thinking you'd never get that on this budget you yeah. know <laughs> I just had you so knew. much like wedding knowledge you would have known head. all about favors and yeah. all about bouquets yeah. and cars and everything it was strange